What's up everyone, welcome to another UI Inspirations video. I am excited because the iPhone 10 has just been announced and I can't wait for October the 27th to get here so I can pre-order mine and have it right here. But in the meantime, we are right on time to update the design of our applications in order to support this new iPhone. This change is different than the change that we have seen previously when the iPhone pretty much kept the same aspect ratio at least since the 6 and 6 Plus to the 6S and the 7, the iPhone 10 is a little bit different and in this video we're going to take a look at what you have to do to get your Adobe Experience designs ready for the iPhone 10. Now before getting started I just wanted to let you know that this is one of the many lectures that exist in my Adobe Experience design course which is linked in the description and again you have a huge discount if you want it it's on Udemy you can go over to udemy.com with a link in the description, use the coupon in the description and get a huge discount. You only pay 10 instead of 70. And that's it for the announcements, let's get started. So the new iPhone 10 has recently been introduced and with it a slightly different form factor for a new iPhone. Currently we have two main form factors for iPhones. We have the 4.7 incher 6, 7 and 8 and we have the 5.5 inch 6 Plus, 6S Plus and 8 Plus. With the introduction or a 5.8 iPhone 10, we may think that it's supposed to be bigger than the iPhone Plus, but the form factor is actually going to be more similar to that of the iPhone 6, 6S, 7, 8. And this is because even when the screen is actually bigger, a jump from 5.5 to 5.8, it also has now a scale factor of 3 instead of a scale factor of 2 which we had in the smaller iPhones. There is also another big change that we have to keep in mind and that is that the corners are now rounded and that the iPhone is actually taller. So let's take a look at what we have to do in order to support our applications for iPhone 8. Right now, on Adobe Experience Design, there's no yet an R board that supports the iPhone 10, of course, although I think it's safe to assume that it will come very quickly. Adobe Experience Design has been known to receive updates every single month, so I believe that we may see an update with that R board along September. Right now, what we can do is create a rectangle, and I'm just going to define a rectangle in here instead of an R board. For the iPhone 10, the width is actually going to be the same as the iPhone 6, 6s, 7, 8, you know? And right now, if you click on an artboard for that design, you see that the width is 375. And that is the exact same width that we have to set for our iPhone 10 design. For the height, the small iPhone has a height of 667 pixels. And the iPhone 10, because it has a 3 times the scale ratio is going to have again the same height, but because of its aspect ratio, it's also going to have 145 pixels more. These 145 pixels more are not really used by our application, but used by the operating system, but for our designs, it's important that we consider them. So the height of our iPhone 10 design is going to be a total of 812 pixels. Now. I know that this looks large, but remember that 145 out of these 812 pixels aren't really for our application. So what I want to do is create certain gridding here to allow for that difference. So I am going to create another square. It's going to have the same 375 pixels wide. I am going to leave the border for just a second. And the height is going to be the 600 and 67 pixels that we have on the normal iPhone, the previous iPhone, and all the way to the bottom. These extra 145 pixels are normally going to be used by the operating system when we are using native controls, like for example this title bar. And because it is this part of the screen that is going to be displaying the title bar, we are going to have much more real estate to work with. So let me copy all of the elements that are inside of this title bar that I have on my design. By the way, this is the WhatsApp design that I had before, and there's a video to that in my channel, but right now all I wanna do is copy it and paste it 
into this other iPhone 10 design. By the way, there's still something left to do because the iPhone 10 is going to have rounded corners. We want to set the rounded corners at about 40 and make sure that you apply that radius for the other elements as well. In this case, because I want only the bottom part of the screen to be rounded, I set 40 to only these two values. And so this is mainly the iPhone 10 design. I actually can get rid of this rectangle now. And what I want to do is change the title bar a bit. I'm going to set the radius for both of the top corners like this. And then the iPhone 10 also changed the status bar a bit. So I'm going to get rid of it. And before I add it again, the iPhone 10 also has some spacing in here for the front camera and some other sensors. So you have to take that into account as well. I'm going to define a rectangle that is going to be black entirely. And that is going to be playing that part of the iPhone 10 that is not screen. So we cannot add any design in there. Now you don't really have to worry about this a lot because all of this is going to be controlled by the operating system. This is where the status bar appears normally. And Apple doesn't currently have a lot of information about the size of this, but we know that it's in there and I'm going to add some radius corners at the bottom as well. So maybe some radius corners at 15. And so we now have a design that looks more like the iPhone 10. And we know that there have been some changes. For example, the, the time is no longer going to be in the center, it's going to be to the left. So we can add it like this. And to the right, we're going to see the battery, just like before. But we are also going to be seeing data from the Wi-Fi and from the network. So we can add them like this. And I'll probably have to change the size of this a little bit, make it about 190 pixels wide. And this looks a little bit more like the design that you will see on an iPhone 10. These bar button items are going to be closer to the top than I'm currently displaying. So let me move them a little bit more as well as these two elements. The good thing about this is that the rest of the display is pretty much set for the design of the application. So I am going to copy in this case, first the tab bar, and I am going to add it to the iPhone 10 design. Again, don't forget to add the radius corners to the bottom. I'm currently using 40 and 40 or the bottom corners. Now this is not going to be exactly like this. Usually some of the 145 pixels that were up here can be narrowed down to 135 pixels and the 10 extra pixels that we had before are actually going to be used at the bottom. So I am going to make the height of my tab bar 10 pixels more and I'm going to move it a little bit to the top. And the reason for this spacing is because at the bottom there's now going to be a line that is going to define kind of like the new home button, which is not really a button. It's actually just a definition for a swipe up that the user has to perform. That it's probably going to be something like this. And the spacing may be a little bit more, maybe something like this. But we still have a lot more space to work with in the case of our application. So I am going to start moving the elements that I have on the iPhone 6 design copying them and pasting them back into the design of the iPhone 10. And we will end up with something like this. Now this is of course not perfect. Let me get rid of the borders in here. But this is a little bit what the iPhone 10 will look like or how you can make your applications look a little bit more like what they will look when they run on an iPhone 10. You can see that the available space is going to be very similar to that of the iPhone Plus maybe a little bit more at least by the looks of what we have done in here because the extra real estate, the extra screen real estate is really going to be used by this bar at the bottom and this bar at the top. But something very important to keep in mind as is that your design is going to have to adapt to the fact that there is a spacing at the top of the screen in the form of this black bar where the sensors are and where there is actually no screen. 
and that the screen has rounded corners. So you have to keep that in mind when designing your application. I'm going to be making this design available to you in the resources or the description of the video. So if you want to download it, you can check it out and use it however you may use it. I hope you find it very useful. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you are getting your designs ready for iPhone 10. If you liked the video, make sure to share it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that thumbs up button. And be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this channel because there are uh, not that many, about, about 30. Make sure to check them out. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you think about the new iPhone 10. If you're going to buy it, if you're going to skip it, if you hate it, if you're an Android user, if you are a BlackBerry user, if you are a dumb phone user and definitely let me know if you would like to learn anything else I will be uploading videos again I hope every week I'll be uploading a new video about designing with Adobe experience design in the meantime I'll see you later don't forget about the coupon though